So who, to the two of you, who <coughs> is the biggest Star Wars fan on set? Gareth Edwards. Definitely. No one like Gareth. He's like, yeah, you, you, it's a book you can consult anytime you have a doubt. What is that? What is it? He knows everything. Yeah. Besides Gareth, of the actors and actresses, who's the biggest Star Wars fan? I, I think we're all really fond of it, aren't we? Yeah. It's, you can't help it from from watching A New Hope and you, you, you fall in love with those characters. I think, I think we all have. Um, what is it like to be part of the Star Wars phenomenon? What is it like? Yeah. It's like, like, like filmmaking. No? Are you excited yeah. for this role? Yeah, very exciting. He understands most. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, Felicity, you got an action figure today. Have you seen your own action figure before? What was that like? It was a, it was a big surprise. I was very impressed that she had a removable jacket, which was particularly exciting. <laughs> <laughs> She's really, it's really detailed. It's so impressive. Slightly, slightly surreal experience, I have to say, looking at a doll of yourself, you know. Not have an action figure on any other role. Never before. That was a first. That was a first. You guys have got this to come. So <laughs> you just wait. I'm so worried. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a little bit about Jen. Um, Kathy's described her as a bit of a Joan of Arc figure. Um, what drives her? Well, I, I know she's a strong female character. She. She's incredibly determined. She's uh, an absolute survivor. And she is thrown into a situation that, that she isn't expecting in any way. And it's a situation that demands um, great courage from her. Uh, but also, at the same time, she has moments of great vulnerability and, is, um, and is, is, is not perfect. She's not a perfect human being. She's a complex, fascinating character to play. And how is she different? than the heroine Ray in the last Star Wars film. And when you were envisioning how you wanted to create the character, what kind of went through your mind in creating Jim? Well, uh, in terms of uh, her difference from Ray, is the main difference would be that Ray um, is 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 searching for who she doesn't know who her family are and searching for who she is in many ways. But when we meet Jin at the beginning of the film, she knows where she's from and that's a, that's a, a point that's very important for, the, for propelling the story, is that this, this woman has, has lived and she's, she's had experience. So her path is very much finding out what her purpose is and, and what drives her. Um, and we talked a bit before, um you started the interview, you had quite a spectacular two years. What was it about this role that you really wanted to take on? It's very different than your roles the last couple of years. It was, it was just, it was an absolute gift of a, of a role to read. I mean, that doesn't happen very often in your life, that you read something and immediately you respond to it and you want to do it. It was a, it was a very special moment. Diego, what was it like when you got the call <laughs> to be part of Star Wars? He was crazy. He was, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, first time I met with Gareth, and, uh, and he told me he, he, he would like to work with me, but it sounded like a, uh, you know, one of those dreams that was never going to happen. You know? He was talking about it as, as something almost unreachable. You know? And I went home saying, wow, this is great, but why Gareth wants me? I don't get it. A Mexican in Star Wars? Did you know there's, it's the first one? Why? How come? And then I, I, I went on with my work and I remember I was in Budapest uh, um, working uh, on a project there and uh, one night I was asleep. It was like 2 a.m. I think and my phone rang and it was a UK number. And I have family in the UK, so I went like, oh my God, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Are they crazy now? I'm going to wait. And then I went, no, no. And the phone you know, was, wasn't ringing anymore. And I went like, damn, who was it? And I, I, I heard the message. And, 
And that was very risky in this secrecy world. There was a message in my phone that said, call me, it's urgent. And it was Gareth, you know? And uh, I called him first thing in the morning. And I had this like emotional, like almost breakdown of happiness, tears. Uh, I was very anxious. Everything was going on, you know? Everything was, was, was weird and, and unique because it's a project that connects me with with the first film I saw almost, you know, like with my childhood and why I do film. So it was, it was quite a spectacular feeling. And, uh, and he said, you're in Star Wars, man, you're in Star Wars. And the next thing he said is like, you can't tell anyone. And I go like, this is, it's like a bad joke, you know? It's like you go out with the most gorgeous woman, but you cannot tell your friends. There's no point, you know? You have to go back and say, guys, <laughs> you don't know what just happened to me. So I'm so glad Star Wars Celebration happened because I'm gonna call all my friends and tell them everything I've been, you know, keeping for myself for a year almost. You're already a huge star. What was it like for you when you got the phone call that you would be in Star Wars? Oh, you know, that, that's different uh, with, uh, from, from him because I, uh, I never saw Star Wars before. So uh, they said, this is a very huge film and you have to keep secret. Don't, don't tell them before you decide it. But how can I decide it? I, I, there's no secret, uh, there's no script, and I, I don't know what film I will, I will be. And uh, I asked ask my sons. My sons is a big fan of Star Wars. And uh, my son said, you have to go. You have to go for us. So just like this. And they, very happy and exciting. And um, when I got script, they read it and said, you have to go. This is a hero, this is a humorous hero. So I'm, I'm here. So tell me each, what was your mo most exciting or enjoyable moment that you had on set? I, I would say it has to be whenever you're in a scene with a creature and then suddenly, it hits you, oh my goodness, I mean Star Wars, when you're acting with giant monkeys who are shooting at you, then that has to be one of the most unusual but pretty <laughs> awesome experiences. Diego? I think for me it was, it was one of the first days I got to, to London and I was uh, asked to go to the studio and they said, oh, Gareth wants to meet you and talk to you and, and welcome you. He's doing a test on one of the stages, so you have to go there. I went there, I arrived, and it all smelled like dangerous, and you know, it was like this imperial ship. And I arrive, and Garrett says, I'm sorry, I couldn't see you before, but we're testing the cameras and uh, testing a character. And I started hearing, <laughs> because <laughs> they were testing Darth Vader and he was just behind me and I was like, like a kid, I couldn't turn. I was like, oh my God, there he is, there he is, there he is. And Garrett looked at me and said like, yeah, I know, I know the feeling. <laughs> I'm still feeling it. And you know, Darth Vader came just to ask a ridiculous question, like, should I come from the right, Garrett? You know, but it was Darth Vader, you know? It was like two days of, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I just met him. What is gonna happen next, you know? But uh, it was special and I, I still, I still feel something every time I see a stormtrooper or, a, or yeah, one of the baddies. Yeah, if you see a stormtrooper out of context, <laughs> suddenly I was in Italy on holiday and I walked past a fancy dress shop and there was a stormtrooper in the window and I literally leapt out of my skin and jumped two paces back just from <laughs> spending so long <laughs> trying to kill stormtroopers. Um, and what was your most enjoyable moment on set? Dangerous. Um, very <laughs> for my acting, right? There's no 
，没有没有 dangerous。o、okay. k 没有，我怎么听着有那个 dangerous？ No， OK， 呃、uh, ，I think all all the time， because you know， I my part is a small part， is not longer than than the, this two， so、uh, every time I go to set， I feel I feel good， I feel I feel everything is exciting。Um, and can we just make this the last question? Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, you can do. You can do one one big question <laughs>、yeah. like, uh, where is really this、long. planet heading, and and what's next in your life, emotionally <laughs> and professionally? Um. So it looks like a serious film, but. I know you all had、um, like to lighten up the film on set.、Um, did anybody sneak away a prop, a costume? Who was the Joker on the set? Tell me a little bit about <laughs> what the character was like working with this amazing diverse cast and some of the behind the scenes between all of you. Uh, well, we we all get on really well with each other, so it's always such a nice atmosphere on set, and there's a real there's real support for each other, which is makes going to work enjoyable.、Uh, but I, it would it would probably I think probably the Joker. I don't know what you guys think, but I think the Joker would probably be Alan <laughs> Tudyk, who plays K two, who、um, constantly goes off script. And improvises and has us in absolute stitches when we're not really supposed to be laughing, but you're trying to hold <laughs> it in and you're sort of shaking with laughter because he's always coming out with these one-liners that just just com completely hilarious. So he's he's the one who very much、um, provokes everyone and 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 keeps it light and fun. Yeah, this great thing of like knowing. You know his work wasn't finalized. You know, you as an actor, you know whatever you do, it gets on. You know,、uh, it gets there now on the data, and and it's gonna be there forever. This guy he had the feeling of like I'm gonna come back to this. So he would change it all the time, and also he would dress <laughs> like in these huge pajamas with points all over. And、uh, and when when he had to run or stuff, he had a backpack with the with a. Head here, the 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 face of K two S O that looks so silly, you know, and so ridiculous in this fantastic world and where ships and, and creatures and, and giant stilts as well. Because K two is really tall, <laughs> so Alan would come on set just like this vision in these brightly coloured pajamas <laughs> and, was... and ski boots and stilts. So、mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was always、uh, always hilarious.、Um, anyone take any costumes or? Mementos. I get fired. <laughs> yeah, I. It's all very secretive. I one day was was doing like a, 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 a FaceTime with my son, and then I see the screen going white, and I go no, and he took a picture, you know, of my、like, no, of my no, costume, no. and I go like no, <laughs> I made his mom go erase it. Like we were. Like with a gun in our heads, you know, a laser gun. <laughs> let's put it that way.、Uh, we we couldn't share anything, you know. My son took like six months、uh, to get the name of my character out of me. You you had to be. It was really tough. Yeah. Because your friends and family would say, you know, what have you been doing today? You say, um, not much. Can't <laughs>、exactly. really talk about it. Can't really tell you. So it's nice now, as you're saying. It's nice finally that everyone can see it and. See what we've all been working on.